Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. You joined me for part two in Prattenack, and I said I was going to start from the police box, but I thought, what the heck? I'm at the viewpoint. So I cycled up the hill. Let me show you. Yeah, they've got a great, a great little coffee shop up here. There's food and everything. And as you can see, you get that view right down Patea Beach. A little bit hazy today. Uh, I'm trying to look over at the islands. You might see them through the trees there, but yeah, it's a little bit hazy. The kitchen over there for the, the restaurant. So let me uh, take you on my bike, take you around the rest of the uh, Pratamnak. Soy two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so up here opens from in the morning till seven o'clock. I did come up here one morning at six to start a video. There you go. I'll look over the town. Yeah, so this all stemmed from uh, a daytime video I did on the other channel, starting in Pratamnak. And uh, a lot of people were very interested in that area. So I thought, let's do it in more detail. But actually, it's too big for one video. So video one, I'll show you to Praia Road, Soy one, and into the Cozy Beach area, which still comes under Pratamnak. The last time I came down here on this bike, my brakes were the old ones and it was dodgy. Now I, I, can, I can give them a good squeeze and no problem. <clears throat> so if we took a left at the bottom here, that would take us down to the VC Hotel and run in parallel with Walking Street. I can't lift my left hand to show you, but over the, over there, that takes us down to Cozy Beach. And we're going to take a right here to Pratamnak. In front of us, the Big Buddha. Come on. Electric HRV. With bashes in the side already. Yeah, so Big Buddha, up that hill there. Now, I won't take you down Soy 2 and 3, because actually, they join on together. That is Soy 2 there. And it goes down, does a U-shape, and comes back up to Soy 3. And uh, what you've got down there, a couple of smaller condos. That's pretty much it. But there's some, a few houses. But we'll focus on the main kind of areas. Four, five, and six. That's soy three that we've just passed there. And it's funny how the places have changed. There used to be a, a lounge bar at the top of soy three. Very, very good. So Sunday soy four. So I'll have to go slow down here. Irish Wolfhound on the left. It used to be very, very popular. Not so much now. And, also, and the hotel behind us, FX Hotel. And here, a, where I pull over. A lot of coffee shops. And I did a video here. Uh, uh, the brown one there, Sunflower Eatery. I did that a couple of weeks ago. Next door, Cohen Cafe. And on my other side, over here, Cups and Cakes. They're all good. They've all got something that they do that's good, you know. So just give them a try and, yeah, you'll have your own favourite. Now, Sombat. Uh, inexpensive, okay? You will find some good cheap value condos in there. But be careful, there's two Sombats in Pratamnak. I'll show you the, 
the other one shortly. This soy takes us all the way down to cabbages and condoms and uh, beach bum bar. All, all these here on the left are brand new. So they've only been open about maybe six weeks. So I haven't tried any of them as yet. These ones, they've been here a few years. So in this kind of area, there are a few more gentlemen's clubs. So I will point them out as I'm cycling around. In this place here, um, you'll see a orange buildings here on the right. And also over on the left. And they were hot, really hard during COVID. They sold, they sold them, they were overpriced, right, for a start. And they charged over the normal price for maintenance. But you got a 10% income guarantee. 1% uh, of that 10%, they kept back as a management fee, so you got 9%. And uh, they used to rent them out to the Chinese on a We'll call it a daily basis, but they were like tours and they were staying there for like a week or whatever. So they were getting like good, good money in, they were making money and the, the people that owned the condo, i.e. you, if you bought one, were making good money too. So over in here, the only golf course in the town. And it's the Asia Hotel golf course. I think it's a, a nine hole. Over there on the right, the one. That's the name of the condo. And as we come further down this side, You'll see the entrance, just where that bike turned into the right there. That's cabbages and condoms. So a great place to go and uh, eat. Great views over the ocean. Best to go 5.30 onwards. And have the Thai food, not the Farang food. Well, the guys there just sitting having beers. <clears throat> There's a little car park here right at the bottom. So if you come over to this corner here, you can either go through where that truck's just coming out or the steps to the left you can go down. And that'll take you to Beach Bum Bar. A great place to go and sit on the beach, have drinks, listen to some music and get some decent food. As you can see, it is mainly kind of restaurants. There's a couple of bars, but not a huge amount. So rather than go up and down all the soys in between, I'll just tell you there is soys that connect from soy four to soy five. And they're normally just numbered as you come down them normally. If you are looking to stay in this area, I would probably suggest try and find that either one of the big agencies like East Coast, Coastal, Allen Bolton, or uh, find one that's like focused in this area. There's no shortage of gyms and restaurants for sure. So 
this one here, it looks like a castle. It's part of that orange group I was talking about. See those orange ones down there. And, uh, yeah, they went into receivership with COVID. They have been pleading with the government to let them reopen, and they said, with tourism back, they can they can easily make money and pay it back. But I think the, the trigger has already been pulled. Just got to watch out for the traffic here. Yeah, it is a little bit. Bit of mess, shall we say? I should have taken you down that one. That one there is where Kinnery is. I haven't heard much about Jerry's recently, but it used to be a great little bar for dining and music. So this condo there, Star Beach Condominium, it's been there for years. And again, some it's not it's not cheap cheap, but you'll get some reasonable price units. I mean some of the units just now that are up for sale, they're asking 140,000 baht a square meter. You'll get somewhere in there for like 45 a square meter. One of Nong in my favourite restaurants. You get in there. They do a great Thai menu. They only do a Thai menu. Over here, Bayview 2 condo. I actually had a friend who bought um, two units in the car park. They were built as staff quarters. But he converted it into a little two-bed unit and it was, it was a great little unit. I don't know what's happening with this land here. The plot just before it, it's been split into four plots and uh, they are up for individual sale. Finding a small plot here is very, very difficult. Let me take you up Soy 5 a little bit. Over here on the left, you'll see some uh, like shops, etc. There is an expat shop there. Car trying to get past me, I'll let him go. Yeah, so there's an expat shop there, so you can get your, your tea. They're called expat shops, but they're really British. And here on the left, old rogues. It does very, very well. I was talking about agencies earlier on. It used to be Patea Bay Real Estate, but they got bought over. And right at the top there, you'll see Lazudi. That's Pretumnak Road, as you can see. Plenty of gyms, plenty of places to work out. That's your thing. Yeah, just got to watch yourself here for motorbikes. Yeah, so as in the last video, I'll try and put condo names on the screen rather than me try to remember them all. This one here, the Snug, it belongs, it belongs to old rogues. They use it as their overflow, so you can you can go in there and eat off of the menu. Well, that one must be a new Thai restaurant. Never noticed it before. Um, there's quite a few houses in this area for rent, either on a nightly or monthly or annual basis. Prices. Um, for a reasonable size house, you're probably talking 5,000 a night. 
one of the girly kind of bars, high five. And over on the right hand side is our market. Now not like, you know, it's a fruit and veg market. It's, it's not a, a shopping market. If that makes sense. What we'll do is we'll take a right here See, there's still some of these orange buildings here. But it's really sad what's happened to them, you know. I, I have really no idea what's happening with the owners. You can see there is a couple of them being, being lived in. And this one here is Kinnery. And they do a Sunday roast. You know, Kinnery used to be on TripAdvisor, one of the top five restaurants in Britia. And they've got ample park in there. Okay, so easier to come in Soy 5 and turn right at Unique. Or alternatively, there's condos here. You can just rent and stay in this area. If it's, if it's the kind of place you want to be. Now, my first video, I started it on to Prayer Road, and the reason I started it there is that is the Bat Bus route. So if you want to go into town using a Bat Bus, you need to get to, to Prayer Road. I don't use Bat Buses very often. Traffic here. We've got to watch out for motorbikes that are behind cars. There we go. This is a, a rather night market that's just opened, but it hasn't taken off as yet. It's really doing nothing. Okay, so if you've come up here for the day, for you want out of the town and you want a little bit different entertainment. The soy here. So it's just the, it's the one down from Kinnery, yeah? But up here you will find cat flats. get behind one of the biggest water trucks I've ever seen. Yeah, a little bar just opened here, Bunisa Bar. And as you can see, more of these orange condos. Along here on the left, cat flaps. I know when Trev does his uh, bar crawls, they go there quite frequently. Yeah, so that is cat flaps back there. You see some of the girls getting ready for work, and it's it's in there and downstairs. Okay. So we're heading back to Soy 5. You know, it's a while since I've done a video kind of focusing on uh, Pratnack, and it is bigger than you think. Soy 5 officially goes down there and 
and we are coming down this little side soy. This is the back end of the golf course. Now on the other channel, I do put some links in the description to where you can rent electric bikes if you want to use them as a way to find around the town. Uh, the two that I generally, well, the two that I put in there are um, Patea Rent-A-Car and also uh, Cadence Cycle. They both do hybrid bikes. In here, VN Residence 2. And that's actually where Nong and I had our wedding day and the uh, VN Garden Resort in there. The chef, definitely one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet and his cooking is just fantastic. We won't go down any further here, you'll see it's, it's gated off and that's because it's the Royal Princess's house. So. Heading back up this side, there is the, the back end of that golf course I showed you on Soy 4. So this is the, this is where the little V in the road was, and uh, rather than go to the top of the V, we'll just come around. That place there is a hotel. I think it was designed as a condo, and they kind of went, "No, nah, well, we'll do something different with it." Let me show you the details. So, Siren Exclusive, Hotel and Residence. So you can see it's probably one of them ones that kind of a bit hotel, a bit condo. And the Lewitt Hotel, it's only been open about two years and it's now linked up with Radisson. Soy 5, probably um, the hub of Pratt and Night. It's where most of the shops, where most of the um, restaurants, bars and massages are. And that, oh, that shop we just passed there. It's here, it does my laundry. Annie, what a lovely lady she is. She's looked after us for years. we wash our own clothes and then take them there for ironing. Because I'm a house husband and, I, and I'm not into ironing. That one there. They are doing shops downstairs. I don't know what their plans are for upstairs. Well, shop for rent, three units, four storeys. So there you go. So somebody's renting out four storey shops. So accommodation upstairs. So, over here on the left, Dom Pizza. They've just started doing breakfast recently, and even in the morning they're busy. You pass there nine o'clock at night, it is packed out. When Nong and I go on a Friday night, hard eight, big pool table, always very busy. But you can see there's a real mix of uh, Hotels, restaurants, bars. And it doesn't have 
the noise that the town has. And, it, and it's not as busy as how the, the to town is. I just can't believe some idiots pull in front of you. There's Cobra Lounge, and just down the side, Venom Gents Club. If you're in the town, you normally find me there on a Wednesday and a Saturday afternoon, about two o'clock, just in for a game of pool. Now, somebody asked, Big C, is it the same prices there as in the big, big C? Yes, they're the same. <clears throat> Just the choice is terrible in comparison. It's just like going to a slightly bigger 7 Eleven. So, so this, this takes us down, bottom of Soy 5, to the beach. Uh, it's quite breezy today, but hopefully the mic is not picking it up. So, if we went down there, that'll take us to Jomp Tien. It's about two kilometres. You can see the beach. Yeah, it's fairly busy. Over on the left here, Sands Cafe. Again, very, very popular as is the 7-Eleven. Night time, that whole uh, area at the front of it is packed. Yeah, they still class this as Soy 5, so I will take you along it. He tells, I haven't been in the sanctuary for a while. It was named something else before, but it got sold and taken over. This one here, Sands Condominium, and they own the Sands Cafe, I just showed you. Next to it, Royal Beach View. And that one there, right in front of us now, some, some large condos in there but they are directly beachfront. I won't go around. Uh, so that takes us back up to the Princess Residence. I'm cheating now, I'm only using electric there. And we are now in Soy 6. Big sauna club on the right, belongs to Sands. And uh, what used to be called Tesco's, it's now called Lotus's. In the distance there, that's view to lay three. And behind them is view to lay five. So if you if you are looking to uh, rent or buy here, um, your older condos tend to have not quite so good facilities, but better rooms. And the one thing I would say is, after living here for 12 years, the facilities you don't use the facilities as much as what you think. That one there, Kiang Tale. You'll find some good rooms in there at a good price. And over here on the left, Tip Tip Mansion. Even even cheaper rooms in there. If we turned right there, that would take us to uh, View to Lay 3 and the Heritage Hotel. There's quite a few of these little hotels See one there, Aya Place, room for rent. You'll get rooms in there, about 600 baht a night. 
Okay, we've been there. That's where I live, over Ocean View. And right opposite us is the Russian night market. And uh, it is very busy just now. Still a huge amount of Russians here. This one on the left is Utile Residence 5. I think there's still some rooms in there that have never been sold. But getting a 100 square metre one bedroom is not unheard of. Whereas if you go to a new condo, most of the one beds are 30 to 40 square metres. So it all depends if you want a bit of space or not. You know what, you're, if you're here for a short time, then, you know, one of these small rooms would probably be enough. So, anything goes wrong with either of the motorbikes, this is the guy we take him to. And up here, also some uh, little bars, they're not open yet, but one of them is. I won't take you all the way up the top because the road's clear, but we're almost at the top of Soy 6. And that up there at the very top, the grey and white building, is Axis Condo. Really, really a good location if catching the bus into town is important for you and you want to be close to Pratamnak. Uh, a taxi from this area to Central Festival. If you use a Bolt, about 100 baht. Maxim, about 75 baht. And another sauna, the sauna bar on the left. Friend's girlfriend that owns this little little shop here. You okay, Rose? Okay. Yeah, you you go see your sister. Yeah. Okay, good on you. Yeah, her sister's in the town, so she was going to visit her yesterday. So to the left here, just at the Russian market, is the last of the Pratamnak soys. There's nothing to show you up it. What I will do instead. So that one there, soy seven, Pratamnak. Okay, and then it goes to Tapria soy ten. And then this one along here is Tapria soy twelve. They're not hard to walk up, you know, you could walk up there and catch the bus at the top. So there we are. And it, part two in depth on uh, Pratamnak. I mean, I, I could go deeper, but it would take forever. This, this market at night time, all them seats, they're all taken up. It is absolutely rammed. In front of us here, the Batea Park and Water Tower. You can see it up there. And that's kind of the view I've got at night. I look at that tower. Because that's my condo right in front of us. So that's me, conveniently home. I'll get the bike on charge and uh, I can't even see. I've used one bar doing two videos. So there you go. It's, it's a good way to get about. I'll put a link in the description for where I bought the bike. And uh, if you're a resident here, this bike has got pros and cons as well. So you can't, the battery is removable, but you can't take it out to charge it. So my room, I've got 100 square meters. So I just take my bike up to the room, plug it in. I only charge it when I'm sat beside it. So I keep an eye on it. Our building, 79 units. I've actually, I've been the manager in there for 12 years.
so it's uh, yeah, it's a good it's a good run unit. I, I don't actually have to do much. I've got a very good juristic lady. She's one of these women that just rolls her shirt sleeves up and gets on with the work. 7-Eleven, one 20 metres up the way and another one 20 metres down the way. So thank you very much for joining me on my, my little tour of Pratamnak and uh, yeah, hope I can show you somewhere again soon. Bye bye for now.